What's up YouTube? Do you want to know how to save your objects or characters in between scenes in Unity? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Let's get started. Hey guys, Castlace here with Castlace Tech, helping to teach you how to build your own game bigger, better, and of course, more fun. And here on this channel, I make easy to follow tutorial videos on how to create animations, add special effects, or add features like buttons, levels, bosses, enemies, you name it, all into your Unity game, just like this video. I also make videos of me creating Unity games and playing it, like my Jurassic World game series, where I create from scratch and build an entire Jurassic World game filled with dinosaurs. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So let's go. Okay, so here I have my player in my menu scene and he has a script called players attached to him and in the menu scene I have a button called level 1 if I click it, it's gonna take me to another scene called level 1 Two hours later And here's a level 1 scene, all I have is a button if I click this, I'll go back to the menu scene So how do I keep my player object still around when I go to my level 1 scene so that if say, this is the menu and you players in the menu or in another level like level 1 and you want to keep him when he transitions to level 2 that he doesn't just disappear or anything like that so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up the player script 2 hours later okay so here I have the player script so it's actually pretty simple actually so here I'm gonna type in game object dot don't destroy on load and then this game object so basically, this is a function that, when called, it just keeps the object not destroyed when changing scenes. So this is referring to whatever the script is attached to. So make sure that this script is attached to the player or the object or your character or whatever you do not want destroyed when you switch scenes. So then it's going to refer. This is referring to that object that's attached to. So all you have to do is just put game object dot don't destroy and load this game object in the start function so when it starts it'll know not to destroy this so let's take a look two hours later okay with that function added i'm going to test it out so i'm going to click to the next scene so now that after adding that line to the script let's go change to the next scene and see what happens so there we go the player is now in the level one scene instead of just being destroyed and disappearing forever so I want to show you what happens when I go back to the menu scene with the player object. So as you can see, there's two players now. And this happens because every time you're going between scenes, the, the menu scene that already has the player, he's still there. So the one that you that you took with you to the level 1 scene is, set, is not destroyed. So when he comes to back to the menu scene, both of them still exist. So now watch if I go back to level 1 scene. And now go back to menu and now there's three players so both these players did not get destroyed and there's also another new player so how do we fix this because you know you don't want like three players just keep saving and not being destroyed you want to be able to just keep one and not be able to stack on so many players and this would definitely cause an error or bug in your game or it'll just not look good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the player script three days later Okay, so now I'm in the player script. So what I'm gonna do is add a public static. So static, and then player, whoops, player instance. So what this static is gonna do is gonna take this player script and create an instance. And basically, uh, there could be only one instance of this player in the entire Unity. It saves it into the memory. So you could use this is very useful because you you might be using this for let's just say your scene manager and it'll be managing your your changing scenes and all you need is just one scene manager or your game manager or your music because you don't really need multiple uh, managers and you want to be able to access it throughout anywhere in the script so that's why you would create you would use this in uh, static uh, instance but for this purposes we're going to create a static uh, instance of this player so just add this public static player instance and if this is anything else, let's just say if this was a uh, music manager, make sure that this will say music manager. It should match uh, this. And I had a difficult time when I was using this instance. It just didn't save correctly. So 
So what we're going to do is go into the start function and we're going to add if instance is not, oops, oh, keep adding that, <laughs> it's not equal no. So it's checking if, hey, if, if this player already exists, then, and it's not equal no, then we'll do what's, if there's already an instance of this player, uh, we, we do not want that. So we want to destroy that instance just so we make sure that we only have one so far. So you're going to go destroy this game object and then just do return. So basically, if the instance already exists, so that means there's a duplicate, we will destroy that instance and just keep one. And then you click return and you just exit out of this uh, script. And if it isn't, then we go down here and say, well, since the instance does not exist, we'll say instance equal this. And this is and this is just basically referring to the, the game object or whatever this instance is, uh, the script is attached to. So we'll go into the instance and we finally have, so now this is not null. And then when you change scenes, it'll say, okay, now that there's an instance of this, just don't destroy this game object. But if we already have an instance already existing, we want to destroy the duplicate and just keep it that way. So now that this is added, now let's go test it out. Two hours later. Okay, with that code added, now let's test it out. So I'm gonna click level one. Okay, good. The player is not destroyed. So now we click back to menu, there should only be one player. And if there is two, one of them should be destroyed and we should only still keep just one. So let's go back to menu and there we go. Now we only still only have one player and you can check for yourself. So you can see there is only just one player. Now watch, I'm gonna go back to level one. Still one player right up here, you can see. And then, and then go back to menu, still player one. And uh, and that's how you're gonna be able to uh, not destroy your game object or your character or your player when changing scenes, say to like the fighting or battle scene. And uh, yeah. That's all I have for you guys for today. Don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it or you found it very helpful. Comment down below and tell me if this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button for more videos like this in the future. Alright, that's it. See you later.